What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. And guys, yo, have any of y'all seen the Filipino Peas uh, video talking about passport bros? Now, she debunked a phenomenon that's going on in Black America talking about passport bros. So, she was telling it, the truth about a lot of these sisters are talking about, oh, these these broken, dusty men are going over to other countries to find quote-unquote greener pastures to uh, assert their dominance because they ain't woken up to the control that black women have over them. And she said that black women are um, black women Basically, she was basically putting on a man saying that, oh, y'all, y'all broke ass dudes can't do nothing. Now, I got a question. And those of you that know that watch this channel know my questions are typically, I'm going to get my answers. I'm already know my answers. So, my question is this. If you don't want these guys, why are you complaining about them going overseas? Or, if you don't or if you don't want these guys, why is it your problem when they go overseas, find women that actually give a damn about them and you don't give a damn? See, I find it funny that they complain about a lot of the things that a lot of passport pros are doing and they quote unquote say that they don't care and they think that we're talking to them. No! Passport pros are not talking to y'all. Y'all can kick rocks for all, all we care. We're talking to the men that are staying here, still dealing with the bullshit that y'all put them through. That's who they are talking about, talking to. You have nothing to fucking, to fucking, uh, to fucking damn comment on. Passport bros don't give a fuck about what y'all got to say. We're talking to the men. We're not talking to you. Stop, stop worrying about what we doing. Y'all want to be strong, independent, and fucking... Do your own thing and you don't need a man? Fine, so be it. But don't sit here and come off to uh, come off, go off on passport bros because they're going overseas. If you want, if you're saying they're broke and they're dusty and they're all this shit, kick rocks, go somewhere, do something with your life, make your bread. But, uh, but apparently, a bunch of y'all ain't breaking y'all own bread because y'all apparently asked for. Uh, uh, asking Gor Glorilla for fucking uh for fucking uh cash apps. So apparently y'all ain't strong and independent. So let's get that fucking straight right now. <laughs> but seriously though, a lot of y'all make the notion of y'all don't need a man and all these dudes, all these black men are broken, dusty, and conquered, and all this bullshit, quote unquote words of Cynthia G. But the thing about it is. Which y'all don't realize, y'all y'all putting yourself at detriment yourselves. Cause let's be honest, most of y'all don't make enough money to even support y'all own damn selves. And I'm not even saying that the men don't either. But in reality, a lot of y'all that's saying that y'all strong and independent. A lot of y'all not strong and independent. A lot of y'all are are literally relying on the government to help y'all out with y'all with y'all shit. So in reality. Are you truly strong and independent? Because of, and because to what I'm seeing, y'all not. But I digress. But y'all need to. But y'all need. What y'all need to do is y'all need to y'all need to actually understand what y'all saying because a lot of these men are leaving y'all asses, and a lot of y'all gonna be struggling. And the guys that are, that are damn kissing y'all asses, I'm gonna tell you one thing right now. The ones that's kissing y'all asses are gonna be the ones that's gonna keep y'all that's gonna kick y'all asses aside. And that's gonna keep y'all asses down. Because for some odd reason, y'all complain about passport bros and y'all getting yeah, these other guys are kissing y'all feet. But what the, what's really happening is these other guys, they're kissing y'all feet and kissing y'all asses, but none of them are marrying y'all. And a lot of y'all are seeing these guys as, oh, 
I like these guys, but the thing about it is, these guys are not taking y'all serious. Cause they, cause in reality, look, look at it like this. Let's let's take for instance Derek Jackson. Derek Jackson, he was preaching all this shit to y'all. Now and then he cheated on his wife. Now his wife is damn near gone insane. So y'all, y'all deal with these guys that are kissing y'all ass, but then these guys turn around, and drive y'all crazy. And then also, a lot of these guys that's kissing y'all ass is all the kissing y'all ass because they don't have nothing to, or they don't have nothing for themselves or they don't respect themselves. They put you on a pedestal while y'all put them on y'all while y'all put them on low everything else. And I'm and I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say this once and only. I'm not talking about all women. I'm not talking about all black women. I'm talking about the ones that's out there. That's out there in their feelings. Now, if you comment on this video, then pretty much I'm talking about you. But I'm not talking about the black women that actually are doing something with themselves and are working for and are working on themselves and actually have people and actually have husbands. But do you? Because apparently a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all ain't doing too well. So uh, I'm gonna just keep it pushing, keep it moving. And I'm going to keep on the highway, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. And I'm most, most likely going to upload this video very soon. And I'll see you guys later. And thank you guys for watching this channel. I'll see you guys later. All right. Bye, guys.